I bought this off of eBay. It's a um, attenuator, a cute little attenuator. The price was great, so I think I bought it for eight bucks or something like that. Um, and it is a, a 20 dB, I think it's a three watt. I'm not quite sure, it's not marked on here. Uh, I think it was listed as three watts. It, it feels pretty heavy. It looks like it has a good heat sink on it. Um, it's made by Cherlithic. Um, is somebody pronouncing that right? Yeah, Trilithic, and I know they build good stuff. I don't know if they're in business anymore. Um, and it has calibration on it, so that it was measured at the factory. It was measured at uh, 30 megahertz and 10 and 30 megahertz and 1 gigahertz, and it measured 20.0 dB at 30 megahertz and 20.0 dB at 1 gigahertz. So it's very flat. So it's great, um, and it's SMA SMA. And so it's perfect for a project I have in mind in the future. And um, anytime I buy something off of eBay, though, I need to test it. I want to make sure it wasn't blown up. Because a lot of times these attenuators uh, go bad. Uh, they're overpowered. And uh, they, can, they can droop or they can actually, you know, open up, uh, depending if the resistor is blown or just kind of damaged and stuff. So I need to test it before I use it. So... I thought I'd use my uh, my HP equipment, and we'll give this a give this a measure and see if it's uh, up to snuff. All right, let's uh, turn on the instrument. This is my eighty nine twenty one, and we'll be using the function of a tracking generator and spectrum analyzer to sweep this thing. And I've got a couple uh, BNC. B and C to SMA connectors already on the instrument. I've got them in the antenna in connector and the duplex out connector. Uh, this instrument can, you can use these three ports in different ways. You can have things come out of these two or you can have things come in on these two. So you can configure it. So we're gonna be using the spectrum analyzer. So that's over here. We'll say spectrum analyzer. And it says, uh, where do you want the input to be? Uh, RF in or antenna? We want an antenna. So we'll click that. Now it's coming in here. And uh, center frequency, we want a full sweep. So we'll say 500 megahertz in the center and span of uh, one gigahertz. So we'll be from uh, zero to a gigahertz. All right. So the next thing we need to do is go here to control, say main, and we'll go to the RF generator. It says tracking or fixed. It's set to fixed right now, so we'll say track. You guys can't really see that, can you? Okay, I'll go to track. Uh, amplitude minus 10 dBm, that's fine. And we want to have it output on the duplex, which is this one, which is fine. And uh, I think it should be going now. So we'll we'll take our uh, uh, our two uh, our, our two cables, and there's we're going to hook them directly. So we're going to short out the machine and see if we get a. Uh, there we go. So uh, it is measuring. And um, it's measuring about minus 12 dBm, so that sounds about right. So we want to uh, uh, normalize this thing, make, have a nice flat response. So we'll go here to uh, RF Gen, we'll go to auxiliary. And there's a normalize function over here. We'll say uh, save and then A minus B. And now it's normalized, so the trace is nice and flat up at the top. So now we'll open up the uh, open up the connector, and we will insert the attenuator. So, so I've put the uh, attenuator in line now, and there we go. So it's measuring minus eighteen point six one, and it looks to be very very flat over. Uh, over the range, so it's good to me. So good, a good eBay purchase. <laughs>